On average, a person spends about a quarter of his earthly life in a dream. At this time, many people have various dreams that do not always depend on our consciousness and our desires. For this reason, we don't always dream what we want. In one of the authentic hadiths, the messenger of the Lord, blessings and peace be upon him, said, there are three types of dreams. Of these, that of shaitan, the devil, is one of the horrors with which he saddens the sons of Adam. One of them is what a person cares about when he is awake and then sees it in a dream. And of these is that which is from Allah, God the Lord, which is one of the 46 parts of the prophecy. And it is about bad dreams from shaitan and about good dreams from the Almighty that we will talk about in this video. Do not forget to watch the video to the end, dear viewers, so as not to misunderstand us and not to miss anything important. And there will be quite a few important details. The Prophet blessings and peace be upon him said, If any of you have had a dream that he likes, then it is from Allah Almighty. So let him praise Allah for it and tell about this dream. And if he sees something else and he does not like it, then it is only from shaitan. So let him turn to Allah, God, the Lord, for protection from this evil and do not tell these dreams to anyone. And then such a thing will not hurt him. There are also dreams that may contain information that you have become a victim of witchcraft. The Almighty says in the Quran, they learn things that harm them and do not benefit them. They knew well that those who acquired these witchcraft skills and practiced witchcraft would not have a good lot in eternity because they were warned about the prohibition of witchcraft. There is nothing worse that you could sell your souls for. Oh, if they had known, would have fully realized the harmfulness of witchcraft for themselves and would have stopped doing it. We will list a few dreams that if a person sees, it may mean that a person has encountered witchcraft. Firstly, it is a completely black dog. The Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said in a reliable hadith, a black dog is a shaitan. That is, black dogs are the most malicious and rebellious of them. So the Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said, a black dog is a shaitan. Secondly, it is a snake because it can be associated with a jinn. It is reported from the words of Abu Sa'ib, that one day he went to Abu Sa'id al-Khudri's house and found him praying. He said, I sat down and started waiting for him to finish his prayer, when suddenly I heard some rustling in the branches of a dry palm tree from the side of the house. I turned around and there was a snake. I jumped up to kill her because she could be deadly to the locals because of her strong poison. But he motioned for me to sit down and I sat down. When he finished his prayer, he pointed to a house and asked, do you see this house? I replied, yes. He said, there was a young man from our number who recently got married. We left the city with the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And this young man asked for leave from the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, every day at noon and went to his wife. On one of these days when he again asked for leave from the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, he told him, Take your weapons with you, because I am afraid of your meeting with the Banu Kureza tribe, because there was a fear that they might attack. The young man took the weapon and went home. Then he saw his wife standing in the doorway. She told him, Hold your spear, come into the house and see what made me come out. He entered and saw a huge snake lying on the bed. He threw a spear at her and pierced her. Then he went out, stuck a spear into the wall of the house, and then the snake fell on him and it is not known which of them died earlier, the snake or the young man. We came to the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and telling him about what had happened, we said, Ask Allah to revive him for us. And he replied, Ask Allah to forgive your friend. Indeed, there are jinns in Medina who have become submissive to the Lord, and if you see any of them in the form of a snake, then ask him to leave your house for three days, and if after that, the snake appears again, then it is shaitan. Thirdly, it is punishment in a dream. This may also be related to witchcraft. The Almighty says in the Quran, Then in those ancient times he, the prophet Ayyub, called out to the Lord, Truly the devil touched me, something diabolical happened, tiring me, plunging me into the most difficult state, and tormenting me. I'm exhausted. Illness and physical malaise have completely deprived me of vital energy. And you, Lord, are the most merciful of all the merciful. Fourthly, these are witchcraft knots. The Quran says, And I am moving away from the evil of conjuring blowing, spitting on knots, 
uttering their devilish spells. We would also like to tell you a story that happened to the Prophet. Blessings and peace be upon him. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, Once upon a time a man named Labid ibn al-Assam from among the tribe of the Banu Zuraik bewitched the Messenger of Allah. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, to such an extent that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, began to feel as if he was doing what actually didn't do it. This went on until one day, or night, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, made supplications to Allah. Then he again addressed him, then again addressed him, and then said, O Aisha, do you know that did Allah give me advice about what I asked him for advice about? In a dream, two people came to me, one of whom sat at my headboard and the other at my feet, after which the one who was sitting at the headboard asked the one sitting at the feet, or the one who was sitting at the feet asked the one sitting at the headboard, What is this man sick with? He replied, He is bewitched. He asked, Who bewitched him? He replied, Labid ibn al-Assam. He asked, What did he use for this? He replied, Comb, combs of hair, and dry pollen of a male palm tree. He asked, And where is all this? He replied, In the well of Zu Arwan. After that, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, came to this well with people from among his companions, and then returned and said to me, O Aisha, by Allah in color, its water is like an infusion of henna, and the palm trees growing near it, they are like the heads of devils. I asked, O Messenger of Allah, did you burn this meaning what was used for witchcraft and thrown into the well? And the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, No, if we talk about me, Allah healed me, and these things I did not bother, because I did not want to harm people. Because Islam is a religion of peace and goodness, and it is forbidden to harm people. And therefore, at my behest, the well was filled in. Fifthly, it can be a well because often sorcerers throw the object of the spell where people do not see, as in the hadith that we cited earlier. In order to protect himself from this, the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Whoever eats seven ajwa dates every morning will not be harmed by witchcraft on this day. In turn, a good and wholesome sleep is wonderful, and it can be a very good sign. It is reported that Ubada ibn Asamit, may Allah be pleased with him, said, One day I asked the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, about the words of Allah Almighty. They are destined for good news in this world. Surah Yunus, Ayat 64. And he said, This is a good dream that a believer sees himself or that others see about him. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, told, I once heard the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, say, There is nothing left of the prophecy but good news. People asked, What is good news? The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Good dreams. The Messenger of the Lord, blessings and peace be upon him, said, When the time comes, the believer's dreams will almost always find their confirmation, because the believer's dreams are one of the 46 parts of the prophecy, and what has to do with the prophecy is not false. The Messenger of the Lord, blessings and peace be upon him, also said, When the time approaches, the believer's dreams will almost always find their confirmation, and the most truthful dreams will be seen by the most truthful of you in speeches. Also the Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said, A good dream is one of the seventy parts of the prophecy. Remember, dear friends, that if a person sees the bad things that we have listed, it may be an indication of envy, witchcraft, or that someone wants to harm a person, but if a person has once seen one of the bad things that we have listed, then the meaning of this may be completely different. Also, dear brothers and sisters, in order to protect yourself from shaitan in a dream, it is necessary to read the ayat al-Kursi. We talked about this in more detail in one of our previous videos. Dear friends, our goal is to bring the truth to people, but without your help, we will not be able to do this. Therefore, let's make sure that as many people as possible learn about this important knowledge and for this, like this video, share it with friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments. And perhaps even more people will find out about it and you will be rewarded for it with the permission of the Lord. We ask the Lord to help all people and protect all people. We also ask the Lord for help and protection. 
May the mercy of the Lord always be upon us and upon you, dear friends. God bless you all.